sorry. You need to keep my name out of your fucking mouth because all you're doing is speaking lies about my life. Lies. While seeding little points of truth in it. It's none of your fucking business what I do with my life. It's absolutely none of your fucking business. You're spreading around that I'm a drunk, that I I do smoke in the house, but because I can, I'm free to. There's nothing illegal about it. I don't do it around my children. I just do it in the house. Oh, the fuck well. That's my fucking life. And I haven't smoked for fucking days, so I'm irritable as shit. You're talking about me jumping from man to man over the internet. I do believe there was one period where I was talking to G-Man. Nothing came out of it, by the way. Nothing. And there was just Jason. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a bunch of men, so you need to shut your fucking mouth about that shit. As for me drinking, I haven't drank anything for days. And when I did drink, it was on the occasional point. You know, it wasn't on a constant stream of drinking, despite what people think. And I'm so fucking tired of that fucking bullshit lie about me. It's bullshit. Yeah. Who do you think you are? You're sitting there drinking coffee and people in your live stream are saying you're drunk. It's insane. I know. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> I, I must be drunk drinking this. I, I, I'm so drunk drinking this. Mm -hmm. It's insane. It's, you know, people need to leave you the hell alone. It's enough of this crap. And I don't want to hear this crap. Oh, I'm doing this because I love you. Blah, blah, blah. No. It's obvious. This stuff has been going on for years. And it's it's time it stops. For real. Because it stresses you out. I know it does. You're sitting yeah. there looking at these comments, you're like, you know? Yeah, it's all fucking lies about me. I know. And if I did drink, why is it any of your fucking business anyway? None. None. You act like you know me, but you don't know me. No one here actually knows me. Angry drunk parents of the year. I'm not even drinking. I haven't touched a drink for days. When was the last time I drank? Like, well, since we contemplated. Um, shit. Uh, I guess what? Four days ago? At least that. No, not even four days ago. At least four days ago. No, it wasn't four days ago. It was more than that. No, I'm saying at least four days. Yeah. At least. Four. Yeah. 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 And that was, what was it, Mother's Day when I had a drink? Yeah. You had a drink for Mother's Day, yeah. When we, we went to uh, the Roadhouse or whatever it was, wherever we went. Uh, no, the Roadhouse was for whatever. Zachary's birthday. That yeah, whatever. Was, the point that was May 6th. Whatever. The point is, is, no, you have not been drinking recently. And you got people in the live stream saying no. that you are. It's, crap. it's ridiculous. I know. May 6th. That was how many days ago? 13 days ago was my last drink. I'm such an alcoholic. Going to a restaurant and having a drink. I'm such an alcoholic. Horrible, horrible alcoholic. Fucking ridiculous. These people are fucking idiots. And I haven't smoked for days now. For days. Even though I want to, I haven't. But you guys want to create more drama. You want the rumor mill. You 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 want to go and say, oh, you're this way and you're this way when you don't even live with me. You don't spend time with me. You don't talk to me on the phone. You know nothing about me. But you act like you do know me. And you don't. You fucking don't.
It's ridiculous. It's like I can't do anything with my life without these people commenting or making something up about my life. Yeah. I know. And and, and then they assume to know our relationship and how it Don't formed. Go there with that. Yeah, I know. All fucking bullshit. Well, we know who it is, mostly. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we could talk about that, but I don't think that... Yeah, if someone doesn't like that, they're not getting this no more. Right. Oh. Buy, buying them their weed. Oh, isn't that hilarious how she criticized you for, for smoking pot in the house? When she was coming to you to get money from from me to get her weed. Yeah, I know. Isn't that right. hilarious? Yeah, right. Yeah. No, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Like, if you did, you would know what you're saying is a bunch of hooey. But you weren't there, which is why we're saying cease and desist, please. Yeah, and I haven't smoked weed since February. Okay, whatever. <laughs> A long time. So, no, I'm not a drug user. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a bad mother. Uh, what are the other things? Oh, I'm not an adulterer. Uh, I don't go from man to man. What happened is I had a friend. We fell in love and we got together like how it normally happens with people he wasn't a stranger or something like that and i just moved in with him i've known rev for five fucking years yep. five years i've known that man such a stranger he is knowing him for five years yeah <laughs> I mean, I can't count the hours that we spent on the telephone talking, and I don't know. It's just that these people act like they know, and they don't. No! They have no idea what happened, for real. No. Because they weren't there. And I'm not saying that, you know... I'm not even judging them for not knowing. How could they know? It was a private situation between you, me, and, you know, the parties involved there. So well, the point is, is that they're acting like they do. Mm-hmm. And they don't. No. <laughs> they just don't. They don't. They weren't on that line with me on the phone with you in that place. Mm-mm. You know? No. So, they didn't hear anything. Yeah. They didn't know anything, what we were saying to each other. They just need to stop acting like they don't. Yeah, because they don't. Yeah. It's bullshit. Right. Like, apparently, according to some people, I have to be alone for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Miserable for the rest of my life. Not have any fun with my life. Not say anything about anything. I mean, who the fuck did? Who the fuck do you think you are? You aren't my mother. You don't know me. You've never had a real private conversation with me, but you act like you know who I am. I don't go to you and tell you how you should dictate your life or what you should do or how you are as a mother. Yeah, it's sort of, it's. The vibe that I get is that they're trying to pull like this psychological profile on you, like acting like they're a, they're a card carrying psychologist, mm -hmm. and that they can make diagnoses of if you're you're a, a fit mother or not. So I that stuff has it's been going on for years. When I was on the phone privately with G Man, I was talking to him about that stuff. It's like, you know, that's crossing lines that should not be crossed. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, we can debate and stuff like that, have the great debate and community. Yeah, why do they have to take it to such a personal level? Yeah. yeah. Over bullshit they don't even know about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you sound drunk. Well, well you're not. I guarantee I'm not. I guarantee I haven't smoked for days. Right. So it's... It's one of the knockoff of crap. Mm -hmm. Stop acting like you know about a person's life that you have never even met. You've never even really had a a private conversation with from as far as I understand, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Never. Stupid. But she wants this private conversation with me. I'm not going to give it to her. Well. Why? So you can spew more fucking shit and rumors about me over the internet? No. She's already doing that. Yeah. I ne- I never had a problem with Miss Star. I tried to be encouraging and, and nice to her. I, and I got... The first comment I ever left on her channel was was that video she did about being alone and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I just said, "Don't say never." You know, you never know. I, you know, I found what I did with with, with you, mm-hmm. and I thought I wanted to be alone forever too. Mm-hmm. And I just said, "You know, God bless you." And all I got was your wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't want you on my channel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never had a word with that woman ever. Yeah. Not one word. So it's like, I don't know. Maybe she's jealous. Oh, you need to get a job. For what purpose? (laughs) Actually, it would affect our taxes negatively. Yeah, it would affect our taxes negatively if I had a job. Yeah. If you you brought in an income like that with mine combined. Yeah. Go way up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. These people are just, they don't know what they're talking about. They, I, I, I don't even, would they even understand it, a single thing if I pulled up my, my Wells Fargo portfolio with stocks in it? They probably wouldn't even know what the numbers meant. No. They, like, you know, well, yeah, true. Managing the finances here, and I'm, oh, you need a job. Well, guess what? Our financial advisor would advise otherwise. Okay. Yeah, right. So. Right. It is. <laughs> Stupid. I don't need to do anything I don't need to do. I can live my life the way I want to. If I'm not pregnant and I decide to have a drink once in a while, I can have a fucking drink. I'm can legally do that in the United States of America. If I want to have a cigarette, if I'm not pregnant, I can go and have a cigarette. Yeah. If I want to, I legally can do that in the United were, States. Even if you were pregnant, you could. I'm but not going to. Because you're an amazing mother. Yeah. As your sons constantly say, you're not going to do that. Yeah, I could bring Zachary down here and he'd probably tell you off. He did before. Yeah. <laughs> we, you want to? Zach! These people are saying I'm a bad mom. You want to tell them else boys? You want to come down here and tell them? I know. It's okay. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. You guys are complete idiots. There we go. And you're mean. You're stupid. No, that's not nice. Will, you want to say something? I'm just going to say. Come come here. Come closer to the camera. They can't hear you. For the millionth time. She's a good mom. How many times do I have to say this? I've shown multiple ways she is, and you guys just keep doing it. Really. 
It's stupid. Who's I'm tired it? of it. They're saying I don't take care of you or you don't get fed or that's not true. I know. I just literally had a hot pocket like five minutes ago. And you're saying I'm not fed. When I had the a piece of cream, Yeah. You can I know. I know. I had a piece of I love you. I do too. I'm so. Why do you think they do this? Probably to get people angry, or yeah. they just don't realize. Yeah. Or they get. They like they bring up that thing about grandma. It's probably the middle of both. They bring up that I don't want to embarrass you, but they bring up the thing about grandma when you peed in the room. Well, I you want to explain why you did that? Yeah, I was playing. Because she didn't I had let else us go. go. Why didn't you have anywhere else to go? Because I was trapped up there. And why were you trapped up there? Because, well, she went up. She constantly yelled at us for going downstairs. Like one time, I went to get some water and then. She started causing. Hey! No getting you water! That's it! Go upstairs! That was the book. Yeah, was you couldn't even get water. That, you could get thirst. I know. And die. I know. Wait, can you have to die by losing a Yes, you can die of dehydration. Yeah. She always was yelling at the boys. For no flipping green. Yeah, they that they ground up for no working reason. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Also, I want to tell you guys something. I don't even want to mention her anymore. I don't, like I don't even want to mention her e anymore either. But I keep having this stuff brought up over and over and over again. What? And they don't even know the story. They just assume they know because they hear rumors from stupid people. So basically, they think um, Grandma is the nice one and you're the mean one. Don't trust everything yeah. on the internet. What? Yeah. The, 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 that is a complete lie. I heard. I actually saw what William did. I actually saw what Grandma did to William. I actually saw. I actually saw. I literally, I literally was holding a wooden board, covering up the door with laundry bins. Just to stay away from her on the last day before we left. Do you know something? I was holding a board. I was holding a board, a wooden board. Well, no one can hear you if you're not facing. I was holding a wooden board, and she opened up the door. She kicked open the door. The clothes fell down on the floor, and that made a huge mess. And then, yeah, yeah. And then I was holding the board. She was pulling away it away from me, and I kept it still. And then she went downstairs and said, "You're getting taken away," grinning at us. And where was I? At work. And you were at work, but. And uh, the police came. Thank goodness out. we didn't get taken away again. again. I missed you when we were And we yeah. were like, don't take us away, please please please, 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 please. But she didn't even say that part. And she started lying that word. Give up. Yeah, I know. I. Look at me. It's been. Can you come closer? I can hear you. It's been a really long time. I give up. I but, do too. I hey. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Guess what? I think I'm not even gonna try. I do not want to um forget about. I don't want. I'm, the good I don't thing think something is about that's over. Chris. Mm -hmm. Um, he was nicer than Grandma Betty. I actually said that. How many months has it been again? What? Since that time. Well, it was Christmas when it happened, 
So, so December. That would be four, five months. But that would be four months. Five later. months. Yeah. Around. Yeah, five months. Fifth month. May. A little smaller. Than five that. months, honey. Yeah. Five, six months ago, that all went down. And now we're here. And, and we're safe. And we're happy. And we're living our lives. And, let me tell and you. we want our privacy. Do we not want our privacy? We want our privacy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do in this world. Yeah. You do too. So, I'm sure of it. And you want to speak? Look, no. I have a big... Okay, you want to speak? I have a big fat... I have an answer that I want to tell you. What? Do you know when we used to get grounded for dumb reasons? Like we didn't get to go downstairs for a drink of water or something? That was all grandma. Yeah, that was all grandma. And, but guess what? What? When we're in this house, the grounding is not that bad. <laughs> like, Louis doing something for a day. It isn't that bad. No. Or you eat a bunch of food for a day. It isn't that bad. So I like to punish you. You, you like to punish him? <laughs> yeah, because. Losing, <laughs> losing special food for a day isn't that bad a little. You get to keep your phone, like, for a dangerous, like, for a reason. Like, maybe you, like, you, like, maybe... You're not grounding him hard enough. No? No. Zach, Zach wants to be a, me to be a tougher dad, huh? No, I don't think so. I think he's saying it's a good thing. Yeah. I like the grounding. <laughs> 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 It isn't that bad because no. you know, because that if you when you get buy special food you're wasting your money. That's right. You need to buy you need to buy food at the grocery store to actually make food for the whole entire family instead of them <laughs> buying stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also, also I have one more bit. What? I want to tell something about Chris. No, I don't want to talk about him. Okay. Can I just tell you something what happened today? What happened when my mom got put in jail? No, let's not talk about that. Um, is that talking about you? Yeah, we, if you want to talk about that, we can do that when she's not live streaming, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, also, you you guys need to stop telling bad things about my mom. Also, I said to have a question. Is this the answer what they want? Do they think they're just believing in grandma? I think they're believing grandma. You're saying you're the bad person and yeah. she's the good person. Yeah. I think grandma I made all these myths. From the mouths of babes right there. Myths? Myth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Myths. Untrue stuff. Untrue stuff. I never saw you. I never saw you just take away our food for a day. They just, that we were starved. Grandma took away your food? No, but she didn't let us have water or go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the punishment with the food is for a specific reason. Was that discussed while I was having this? That's. Story? The that's punishment why they can't have treats is because they have thrown away food and they should be putting it in the fridge for leftovers. Yes. Yeah, like I did. Yes. Like when I did when I got that piece of yes. from Jason's piece of stuff. Right, yes. Let me have a big slice, the hugest slice. One, also, I have a question. <laughs> you guys, I want to say the ending. I want to say something. Okay. Okay. Peace and Maranatha. Oh. Peace and Marinara. Marin Marinatha. Wow. wow. You do act drunk. She's not drunk though. And also <laughs> Pregnancy fog. Pregnancy fog? We never, don't know yet. Maybe baby. Maybe baby. Maybe. Never we, we, never go to 
hell. Never. Never go to hell. There you go. Them. Preach, brother. Preach. Never go to hell. It's the baddest place. Yeah. yeah. Because guess what? Guess what? I think you may burn in hell. Oh, gosh. You Fire may burn. Here. You may burn in hell. <laughs> and, and let's see if he gets a Zach. How do you not go to hell? How do you not end up in hell? Don't do it any rhymes. Oh, okay, that's a good one. And don't just murder people. That's good. This he's preaching Old Testament. That is good. That's and good. don't and don't if you don't believe in Jesus, yes. you would go to hell too. That's right. There you go. <laughs> I love it. And murder people for their money and, and all sorts of stuff like killing people, doing money from people. Mm -hmm. Killing people for the <laughs> killing, killing people, blowing up. All, blowing all, all up they're drunk. saying indoctrination right now. Oh, what? Yes, we have a, we have a. a and we one have an more son that, thing to talk about. We have an amazing son that's preaching right now. That's and why we're one saying more thing to talk about. Never yeah. ever kill kids. Zachary, right. have I ever forced you to believe this stuff? No. Well, <laughs> I'm actually telling the truth. Don't ever do those guys. And <laughs> and also, you guys are kind of um. Mm -hmm. What? Stop being rude to my mom. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Or or I was saying more mean comments to you. And also, what you're <laughs> saying. Also, one more thing. I never saw you guys actually locked up. Uh, locked us in the basement. What? I never saw you guys locked us in the basement because, like. Why would I lock you in the basement? You've never been in the basement, buddy. I wonder what the basement is. You don't want to go down You don't there. want to go to the basement. No. It's creepy. It's spooky. I can't go down in the basement. No. The stairs are too... They're too steep, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, and also, let me tell you guys something. Why not say this is what you and Rev believe? Sorry, indoctrination, probably wrong word. I apologize. Okay. Also, I have a question. You well, guys... Well, why do you believe in Jesus, Zachary? Because, well, he gave us life. What? <laughs> That's the holy. That's not indoctrination. That's the Holy Spirit talking. He gave us life, food, water, and all sort of stuff. That's right. Buddy. He also gave us. That's right. He also gave us. He also gave us some stuff that we do need to survive, like medical stuff, like when someone almost, like someone's super injured, like something like that. Also. Never believe in Satan. Right. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> He's got a fire preacher here. He's going to be in the pulpit when he's older. I love it. He said, Hail Satan. Wow. <gasps> Not good. How dare you? <laughs> I know, right? He's just breathing. And also, what more scene? And also, what more scene? You that. guys never believe in Satan ever! <laughs> ever! <laughs> ever! <laughs> you! Wait, what did what guy said? How did Jason How Satan? What guy said that? I would never say he'll Satan, my, my buddy. What, what, what guy says that? Someone who 
wants to tick off a Christian. Right. So he wants to tick off me too. Yep. Then, yes. Oh. He, he wants Christian. to make you mad for it. I will never believe in you. Also, I have one question to ask you. <laughs> you guy. You. Ha- that guy. How dare you say that? How dare you? You heard the wrath of Zach. You're evil. You're so dang evil. <laughs> you heard the wrath of Zach. Oh. Hey, mommy, guess what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to do a comment on your channel. <laughs> I'm going to do a comment on in the slime. No, screen. don't do that. I don't want people to know your stuff, okay, honey? Yeah, your name. No, don't, Zach. Okay. And no. Yeah, she's right, Blake. No. It's for your protection. And also, guess what? Never believe in Satan ever again. If I ever see you, I would get angry at you so dang much. <laughs> what about if they say they love Jesus? Be blessed. Uh, <laughs> Holy Spirit. Someone say how Satan again. Uh, I know. That's it. See, that's how people are on YouTube, Zach. They're very mean. Be. Go die in hell. <laughs> oh my God! Don't say that to people. Zachy. No, that's not good. Zachy. Yeah, tell them to repent. That's no, tell them to repent instead. Repent and believe in Jesus. Yeah, right. repent and believe in Jesus. There you go. Sorry. That's better. That's better. So uh, that's no better. It's just a jokey guy. What does that mean? He wants to joke around, I guess. Do we have to be joking about doing that? I think so. It's not a very good joke, is it? No. No. It's not funny. No, it's not. No. I also have a question. What? If you ever get cold for Christmas, that means you're a bad guy. <laughs> That's it. You, if you get cold for Christmas, that means you're a bad guy. Well, Santa Claus is fake. I don't know if you know that yet. I'm sure you do. You're a smart boy. Mm-hmm. I know we know Santa Claus is fake because... Yeah. That is... Like the two fairy. Right. Like when I also watched the tooth one day and I know. I know. You didn't find you couldn't find it. The tooth fairy isn't real though either. Yeah. So whoever puts money on your bed is just your parents. Exactly. That's giving your that's giving you stuff for your for your last tooth. That's right. That's right. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Let me tell you something. This tooth right here wasn't um What's it? Uh, a dog tooth. I don't mm-hmm. even have any dog tooth yet. It'll grow in. Mm-hmm. I don't have any dog tooth. Yes, tube. you do. Which one? That one, that one, that one, uh, that one. <laughs> Everywhere where you lost your teeth. Yeah. They're coming in. Don't worry, they'll come in. Yep. Yep. I don't have to have no teeth. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, you're not done yet. Okay. Let oh, me okay. Tell you okay, preacher else. Zach. Let me tell you something that's pretty crazy. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff on the internet. I'm talking to girls that want to spend time with me. What? <laughs> what? What? A lot no. of girls want to spend time with me. I like, think they're just advertisements that you're seeing, Zach. Yeah, no, so that why I just lock it. Right. I just look at it and I only know it's You're going to be a ladies' man when you grow up, I think, but... Also, I have a question. Mm-hmm. If any of you guys believe in Satan, you are not a good person. Oh, God. <laughs> well. Oh, well. And... It does say in the Bible, Jesus does say that no one is good but the Father up in heaven. No one's good but God. Yeah, I'm not good. Don't be defending Satan. I'm not good. Be careful, Mom. Have, have you ever? <laughs> um, we all do wicked things. That's the point. I never really did anything um, evil. You've never done anything bad? Never? No, I ha- never done anything evil. I never. Done well, anything. what's evil to you? Evil is like 
all sorts of bad stuff like killing person, stealing money, and blowing up and blowing up um schools because kids right. need that. Wait, kids don't need that because you can just buy a ton of math books with them. You only need to leave in like um like the story of Jesus, not like um science and stuff. Oh. Because I don't want I do not want to be a I don't I want to be a chef when I grow up. You don't well, chef has some being a chef you need to learn some science. Like what? Like measurements and some math. Do you like ma- you like math? You can do math in your head really I easy. Bet he, I bet he can. Yeah. Bet he Fine, can. ask me a question. Uh-huh. What's a hundred and three plus eight? One hundred and ten. There you go. No, actually, it's not. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. One up. Eleven. Oh. Yes, one hundred and eleven. Do you know what a million times two million? Three million. Yeah. What, a million times three million? No. That's a million plus three. Or a million and plus two million is three million. Three million. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. And guess what? What? What's a million tracks in by um, 100? 9,000. No. No. 9,000. 900,000. And 900. There you go. Yeah. <gasps> Math <Nope>. is evil. <laughs> yep, peace. That guy's true. <laughs> that guy's true. All teachers want you to do is you don't get anything good by this get um give me a math tech correct. You don't even get anything good. So what so what is good with doing math? Well it math is actually a good thing to have. Uh, I think math is evil because <laughs> <laughs> Because I think the teachers that want you to do some, do, <laughs> so I got teachers um, don't even know this math. This is your best uh, life mm-hmm. you've ever done. Do, uh, teacher, <laughs> do teachers even know math? I don't even know. Some do. They, they claim they do, Zachy. Mm. No, they don't. Because that's the eh. Children, she say what my problem is, and they don't even know it. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Jason, let really? me tell. Hey, guys. Common Core let, math is hey, just yeah, like what? Hey, hey guys. Hmm. Yeah, this is how you make um, melted candy melt. Mm-hmm. You have to put some candy in the microwave for a minute, and boom, you get chocolate candy melt. Yep. There you go. And that will be good <laughs> on you. There you go. Aw, your boy's so cute. Mm-hmm. She, that's Hannah. Oh, that's Mama's friend. Yeah. She said you're cute. Aw. You are cute. You. <laughs> you're gonna be a heartbreaker when you grow up. Aw, that's just cute. You're a heartbreaker, <laughs> dream maker, Wait. Wait, love yeah. taker. Don't you mess around with me. Wait, do she believe in Christ? Yes, she does. She does. Jesus Bless says. you. <laughs> Bless you. I love it. And also, one more. I have something that I want to tell you something. What? Do you know something? You guys, if you ever play with Satan, you need to change back to Jesus. Okay? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. The way the tone of your the tone of your voice reminds me of the preacher from the WWE. Oh, let me say I'm the guy. Shannon Ross. And can you ask? I love you. All right, shall we go now? No. No? (laughs) You still you still have to talk? Yeah. Also, guess what? If you ever believe in, if you believe in Jesus Christ, bless you. You can bless you. And if you believe in Satan, you 
should go back to God. A ton of people want to believe in Satan because I guess they think he's God. Mm-hmm. Well, and guess what happens? He <laughs> needs his own YouTube channel. You, you, you need you go pre preacher Zach. <laughs> and um, also, guess what? What? Um, I want to tell you guys something that is really surprising. I can make eggs. You can make eggs. Yep, I can make eggs. Because <laughs> I gave you an egg when we asked. Right? Yes, and they were good eggs. I make good eggs, guys. I hope you guys know that. <laughs> hey, I, I've been saying it to them for 40 minutes. Yes, you have been talking that I also long. have a question. You guys, you guys all, you got, all you guys should go to, um, wait, what is that called again? What? The good place? Not a good place? What good place? Are you talking about heaven? Yeah. You yeah. guys need to go to heaven. So you guys, so you guys don't die. You guys don't die. Yeah. Like, when you die, you have to, you still have somewhere to live. Like, like basically, <laughs> heaven and basically. <laughs> Maybe you haven't basically, well, a second place to live. Yeah. But you live forever. Yes. Is that all? No. No. Also, you get halo on your head. Halo on your head, I guess. You get halo on your head. Do we? Maybe. I don't know. Do you get halo on I your head? I don't know. We may. May. Like, if you would get halo on your head, then you're good. And it, I said, never believe in the devil. Like, cuphead, cuphead. Yeah. Don't, don't deal with the devil. Yeah. Like, cuphead actually made a reference. Uh, don't deal with the devil. Also, maybe we can make a, maybe we can make a, maybe you guys can make an episode of both me and William playing Cuphead. Yeah. Some people I... Some people I imagine hell as Dante described it in Dante's Inferno. Wait, so she's, a, so she's your friend and... Yes. He needs his own YouTube channel. I would be happy if I got my YouTube channel so I could show you how to make eggs. You, with- you'd show people how to make eggs? In the microwave. Oh, okay. With the microwave. <laughs> you don't. You don't need to buy a ton of. You don't. You don't need a pan to just uh, make eggs. You can just put it. Get a bowl, crack an egg, crack two eggs, stir it all around, and then put it in the microwave for three for one minute each. And then stir it one minute, stir it, and then another minute, and it's perfect eggs. Also, my mom did a hot egg challenge. Hot eggs. The hot egg where you just drip some hot sauce on it. What? Well, hot sauce and eggs is good. Hey, Mommy. Yeah. Guess what? Hey, what? I guess what? What? Do you know the Carolina Reaper? It isn't really the spiciest thing in the world. Oh. The spiciest thing in the Mad Dog Hot Sauce. It's really spicy. The Mad Dog Hot Sauce. It's really spicy. Look, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, after stuff. But also, guess what? What? With the Caroline Reaper, you just need to drink some milk. And then you're done with the Caroline Reaper spiciness. Oh. So, but with the hot sauce, you have to actually hot it up. And something comes from comes in because also you can get water with that too. <laughs> let me tell you not let me tell you the not the hottest pepper, but the sweetest pepper. The sweetest pepper in the pepper I got 
with that Arby sandwich. <laughs> with the Arby sandwich. And also, let me tell you guys something. If you say my mom is a bad parent, um, go away, mom. You get to get you get some attention for once. You, I'm, uh, oh. I'm not done. You that kid can get some attention. Oh, you you want me to have attention now? Uh, or a little. Can, can, can I can I turn off the live stream now? Are you done talking? No, but oh, I just go to let you talk. Because I want to Well, how about I just turn off the live stream? I think you preached. No, I'm not done. You're not I, done preaching? If you think my mom is a bad parent, why don't you? Because guess why? I, I like my mom because guess why? Because of the stuff that we actually get. She don't, she, she is not like, like, no. Like, we have to get some if we be good. Like, piece of chocolate. That'd yeah. That's pretty nice. Also, the punishment we get are not really that bad. Like, losing special foods for a week. Is that special foods? You may have to waste your money on some special foods so you can have a delicious appetite. So we have something delicious to eat. Also, if... If you think, um, if you think, um, this is for, if, guess what? Junk, <laughs> junk, let me tell you something. Junk food is bad for you. It's not good for you. It's bad for you. But burgers, I don't even know if it's good for you. It's kind of good. You like burgers, though. Yeah, I like burgers. Let me tell you my top friends buy burgers. First, Wendy's. Fourth. The uh, big burgers from um Sonic. Yeah. Third one though, like um burger that um that like star one with the face, the star one where you bought those fun Hardies. Hardies. And number two are my favorites. Number one, number two is McDonald's, and uh, my favorite one is. Also, I have one I'm mentioning. The one I'm mentioning is the normal burgers from Sonic. And the number one best burger that I ever had is Burger King Burgers. Oh, you like Burger King Burgers the best. Yeah, I think it's the best because they actually add some of my favorite ingredients. Also, they do get some good foods, of course. <laughs> he, of course he likes burger. He's American. He's America. America. Is he still preaching? Guess what? He's, he's telling what? us his favorite burgers. Okay. Guess what? Guess what? I was... I, guess what? I was learning a ton of Japan toys. Okay. Japan toys. I was watching... I was watching a ton of shows that had Japan toys. Okay. Only thing more American than burgers is steak. Mm. Oh. Bur yeah. Steak and burgers make a good combo. You want to have steak and burgers together? No, like a steak burger. like A, a steak or Oh, go yes. No, that's a thing. Yeah, I know. A steak, a steak burger. That makes the best burgers. He's going to be a chef. And well, what about Philly cheese steaks? Nah. Nah? Nah. Let me tell you <laughs> top ten of my... I go top tell you <laughs> the top ten of... <laughs> Then uh, I talk to I will talk, tell you the top two worst food I ever had. Okay. First, Chinese food, and second, French. Um, Someone I, asked you, "What do you like to ask your mommy and Jason, little one?" I don't know. Um, you guys are rounding parents. Aww. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. <laughs> Group hug. There you go. Group hug. No something. That's okay. Me. I can tell you top my top two spiciest peppers. First, the uh. ghost pepper. I never tried it, but I know it's spicy. And yeah. number one, worst pepper in all history is the Mad Dog hot sauce. The Mad Dog 
hot sauce. We're going to have to try and find that. And get the a, mad dog hot sauce? Yeah. We're going to have to try and find it and get a bottle. And do a live stream on tasting it and yep. die. <laughs> no, it's really spicy. Like, I could tell you some footage. You, you could tell me some footage about it? Roll that beautiful pepper footage. Yes. How hot is my dog hot sauce? I don't... Let me ask the dummy what... How hot is Mad Dog Hot Sauce? It, <laughs> right there! 357,000 Scoville heat units. Yeah. That's really spicy. It's one of the most powerful sauces in the world, and it will take your breath away. Mm. Yep. Do we have to get How hot? How did... It, how yeah. hot is the ghost pepper? The ghost pepper is only is it no actually the ghost pepper is more. It's one million Scoville heat units. Yo. How hot is the McDonald's hot sauce? And what what was the hottest pepper you said, Shannon? The Carolina, Carolina Reaper. Carolina how hot Reaper? is the hot? How hot is the Carolina Reaper? How hot is the Carolina Reaper? I could do something on my. I, maybe. 1,569,300 Scoville heat units. That, that's going to burn. What is, is the hottest thing in the world? <laughs> the sun. Well, it's not. What is the, the hottest thing in the world? Okay, the hottest. Wait, wait, wait. wait it, it said that there. Huh? <laughs> What is the hottest food in the world? Okay, what is the hottest food in the world? And the spiciest. It's called the Vindaloo. The Vindaloo. And it's the hottest. It has ghost chilies. It's the hottest chili in the world. Okay. Oh. It's v Vindaloo. I was gonna say that's that that's an Indian food, Vindaloo. Lamb Vindaloo. What is hottest um hot sauce in the world? <laughs> it's called Dave's Ghost Pepper Naga. Oh, it's Naga Peppers. It, it's by Naga Peppers. And guess what? What? Guess what? Tell, tell me this. Nine million school units. Nine million Scoville? Yeah, that would hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that would really hurt. That would hurt coming out. That, I yeah, probably worse than going in. It's not even that spicy at the camp. It's, it's spicier than Caroline Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. What? Are, are, are you hey, done preaching, son? How hot is the sink in blood <laughs> hot sauce? Yeah, I think we're done here. How hot is the sink in blood hot sauce? Streaming, now it's a preaching. The and sink in blood hot sauce? 1.3, 800,000 Scoville. Not that spicy. Well, it's spicy. What kind of hot sauce that you can take, Mommy? Tell them. Tell I, them. I don't know. I've never had my favorite hot sauce is Texas Pete. How hot is Texas Pete? <laughs> it's 747 on Scoville. So not that hot. <laughs> You choose one of the weakest sauce. What is the sweetest hot sauce on earth? No, what is the sweetest thing on earth? What is the sweetest hot sauce on earth? No, what is the sweetest thing? What does Swedish hospital? <laughs> what is the sweetest hot sauce on earth? No, the sweetest thing in the world. What is the sweetest? What is the sweetest thing in the world? Jenny for Christ. It is Thaumatin. Okay. I don't know what that it's I don't know. I never heard of that. I've never heard of it either. What what is the spiciest pepper in the world? 
Carolina Reaper, like I said. What is the sweetest pepper in the world? Is a fascination with peppers. An apple chili. <laughs> that is an apple chili. It's an apple chili, guys. <laughs> what the? This almost got there for hours. I know. Shall we go now? No, I also have yeah. one of the most. Okay. I also have one of the How to get out of quicksand. How to get out of quicksand? <laughs> That's random. Yep. Quicksand is real. It's not fake. It's real. Yes. Because what happens when you get so deep in the quicksand? What happens? Not good. You sink. Get out. So what does it say? How to get out? Number one, Rex. You it isn't more than the comfort feet deep, but if you do happen to come across a mirror deep spot, you very quickly down to the waist or chase. Get on your back and swim. Use a stick. Take French and breaks. So most likely you can't dive if you get stuck in quicksand. Also, guess what? If you call 911, you get, they could help you. Yeah. Well, if, if you could get your phone in time. I guess what? You both do actually throw yourself into the book, throw your stuff out, out of your yeah. backpack because that makes it so dang more heavier. Yeah. Because, because that why? Also, one more thing. What? How do you survive um, when you fall into ice? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Such randomness, boo. He's a survivalist. I <laughs> guess he is. Yeah. Front one, breath your phone. One half of the thinking tell that you river has brought for the ice and it's turned into cold water. You need your balance gun and your wheels and stop racking to get and put in your head and get some. The shock of the fresh of the wine should not admit as it can check. Change into paint the paint of your life. <laughs> so I read the first one. Yeah. Number two, keep as calm as possible. The pepper packet is freezing cold with all the pepper and realize it <laughs> as cold as shock. Increase heart and room rate, hot, 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 high pressure and I'm kind of done with this. You're kind of done with it. Okay. <laughs> you want to say goodbye to everyone? No, I'm not done. I don't Oh. Want to, let me tell you a video. Okay. Okay. I want to tell you guys a video. I, I, th I think we're done. Uh, how, about, uh, how about we, you know. What? We go. No. Yeah, I think we're done. You say goodbye to everyone. Peace of Maranatha! There yeah. you go. There you go. Amen. That was one of the long videos I ever stick into.